Hey YouTubers out there, this is Wertech again. I just wanted to show a um, <clears throat> electric furnace that uh, a buddy of mine dropped off. He wanted me to fix it. It's a KH Huppert. Um, I wish there was more information on this particular furnace. I was looking online and I couldn't find any old manuals or anything like that. But it's a, it's a Type ST, whatever that means. It's a 110 volt and it's an 8 amp. Um, and it's a style too. So... Um, apparently these were produced by K.H. Huppert in Chicago, Illinois, and um, it's a very simple furnace. I know that they use these things for, uh, oh, casting metals and things like that. The temperature range on it, it looks like, in theory, you could go up to 2200 Fahrenheit, but it looks like they're probably not interested in going that high, maybe 1800. Um, I find these old furnaces kind of interesting. Um, the controls themselves are really simple. I think this thing was probably taken off and, and put back on. It's basically in the off position, and you, you, you cycle it through from low to medium to high. And I've already tested it. The uh, original cord went with it, and it was just so frayed and busted that it had to be replaced. So I, what I did was I just simply used a cord from an old computer, and I tried it out. Um, also, the diameter fit in the back of the hole there, so maybe we can take a look at that really quick. You can kind of see. So it fits, but uh, I noticed on high that the cord itself was getting a little warm, so um, that's not so good. But um, let's take a look inside. The overall dimensions, it's uh, five deep, approximately four by four. It's a little off, but it's close. Um, we have the original plate here that has since been repaired, apparently. Um, the glue job wasn't that good, but it's all here, and so what my buddy wants me to do is see about replacing the innards with uh, something a little bit more modern and easy to work. Um, and so I've already done that with my uh, furnace down here, and I actually just started to run on it, but we can take a peek inside. It's uh, significantly larger, um, but basically it's the same general idea. You have to get yourself a uh, solid state relay, a controller, and, uh, and a thermocouple. Um, but let's take a look at the underside of this. So you can take a look. One of the reasons why I like to show these things off is my motivation is mostly if it's not out there, if there's no information out there. Okay, so you can see the cord runs through here. Um, there was a knot tied in the back to keep it from, from uh, someone pulling it out. Um, I... Uh, attached uh, the uh, ground cord uh, over here and then you've got the the hot wire and the neutral but it doesn't really matter on these these furnaces and so you can see the attachment points um this these two wires the black one and the red one are associated with the uh, temperature readings and um basically that's about it the thing that's got me curious is you've got two lines a line here and a let's see and a line here and then the third line right here and how that's wired in with the uh, actual coils, I'm not certain about. The back does come off, so I'll have to take a peek. Um, when I did the wiring for mine, let's put it back. I uh, made sure that each of the core, uh, the, the coils, and there were in individual uh, segments inside the, uh, my furnace, but basically I wanted to make sure they ran in series. Uh, I didn't want to have a, uh, no, excuse me, not in series. Let me, let me backtrack. Run them in parallel. <laughs> So the idea there is if a single element went out, you could still operate the, the, uh, the furnace. And, and you can always tell the, the, uh, the controller to do a, uh, a calibration and uh, a run for it. But anyway, I just wanted to show this example of this old furnace. I wish I had more details in terms of the year and uh, those sort of things. But maybe somebody online can uh, help me out and, and point out the, the history of uh, this particular uh, small furnace. I assume it was used for... Metallurgical uh, uh, castings, possibly uh, you know uh, for for dental uh, type of operations. I mean, it's really kind of small. I mean, it's it's a very simple uh, setup. But if you're uh, heat treating small, you know, preforms like this, um, then it should work fine. So anyway, uh, that's about it. Thanks. Bye.